Hello again, back with another multi tool. Uh, this time we're looking at the Leatherman Juice XE6. Now, I want to begin with the sheath of this multi tool. It didn't come with the multi tool, I had to buy it separately, and I paid about £8 for the sheath on Amazon. Now, when I bought it, I thought it was real leather. It's not, it's some sort of like polyurethane material. Um, it looks pretty beat up right now, it looks like it's been used a lot, it really hasn't. I've only worn it less than maybe 20 times. That's just how bad it is, it's, it's a really poor material. I mean it peels off so, so easily. Now there is some upsides to this even though it's a piece of crap, obviously made in China. Um, it has a belt clip instead of a belt loop. So I don't have to keep taking my belt off to put the thing on and off. I could just take out the drawer or out the box and just slide it on the belt and slide it off when I'm done. And obviously I could also just clip it straight to the pocket if I really want to. Not only that, this sheath will fit in any Leatherman juice. So it could be the thickest, which is the XE6 and the Leatherman juice range, which I have in here right now. It also fits my juice. CS4 and I believe it also fits the smaller one so the S2 um, and all the other um, models in the juice range so that's nice at least so let's look at the multi tool itself so XE6 well I'm sad to say that this has unfortunately been discontinued within the last two years I don't know when exactly it was discontinued but I know it was fairly recently either last year or the year before so you're going to struggle to get it now. In fact, I got lucky when I bought this because I got it after it was discontinued. I paid £80 for this on Amazon, which a lot of you will probably have your eyeballs popping out of your head um, or your eardrums bursting when I said that because you're lucky if you can you're lucky if you can find a Juice CS4, the model down from this, um, for that sort of price. In fact. Five or so years ago, I only paid about £60 for my CS4, and now they cost over £100. So I think the fact that I got this for £80 is pretty fantastic. Don't be disheartened though, you can still find them. I only bought this less than four months ago um, on Amazon. Now, the dealer I bought it from, at the time I bought them, had four in stock. Unfortunately, they've run out, that said, shortly after. I did see another supplier, I'm sorry I don't remember the name, um, that also had these. Now, aside from just keeping your eyes peeled for old stock of new Leatherman multi-tools, which this was brand new, not second hand, brand new in the box. Um, aside from that, the only other place I could really tell you where to find them is Facebook groups, um, Leatherman groups, buying them second hand, that sort of thing. Now, that's not something I really do. I'm not really sure I trust anyone. Um, on there to be honest just buying it from a random stranger I'm kind of f feeling funny about that um, so I'm sorry other than that I can't really direct you where to get one of these but nonetheless it's still a fantastic multi tool um, so here's the, the the video of it if you're interested and um, it's probably one of my favorites now um, I will say I'm not selling this some people on some of my videos do ask if I'm selling certain things like my um, my video of my Glock blank firing pistol quite a few people asked me if i'm selling it and uh, also where you could buy it so no i'm not selling this anything you see on this channel i will not be selling unless I otherwise specifically say but that's not going to happen anyway moving on with the video the leatherman juice xe6 so you can see this is a sort of lime green sort of gold um color on this scale i did originally want the full purple one I think this did come in two colours, this colour and the full, the full purple. Uh, this is what I had available, whatever it'll do, it's still nice enough. Um, of course the good thing about the Leatherman Juice XE6 is it's legal to carry in Britain, it's legal to carry almost everywhere. The cutting edge on the blade is less than 3 inches and it's non-locking and the great thing about the XE6 is it's got most of the multi-tools that the bigger multi-tools have, in fact this is the only one with it. well actually we'll get to that later on let's just look at the tool shall we so we have the main blade absolutely nothing wrong with those you know when i first saw the juice models i thought that was an ugly blade shape i've actually come to like it uh, it's hollow ground it comes fairly sharp and it's not difficult to sharpen either so that's definitely a good thing 
across here. A pair of scissors, they're not the greatest scissors, they do work. Um, I much prefer the Victorian knock scissors though. I think in terms of scissors on a Leatherman, these are probably the second worst. I, I'm not a fan of them. They're okay, I mean I do like them but I don't, I mean... I think the best scissors on a Leatherman, for me anyway, is on the Wave. I like those scissors a lot. Probably followed by the scissors on the Surge. To me the worst scissors on a Leatherman is on the Wingman. Then the Micra, then this, I would say. That's just my own opinion. But they're alright, I mean, they do the job. If I remember correctly, they have very fine micro serrations towards the tip there. Um, if I can get this to focus. See, it's hard to see. Not really sure what the purpose of that is. You can see them right there. Don't know why. I think most people don't even know those are there. The next tool along, uh, sorry, the same layer as the scissors, we have the awl. with a sewing eye. Now this this all isn't very sharp but it does do the job. I have used it a few times on wood and um, drywall and things like that. And we also have a saw, a wood saw. Um, now if you close the all then close the saw, um, the saw is going to rest on top so you have to close the saw first because the all is supposed to go on top of the saw. Other side, this is where it gets interesting, just in a little minute here, we have the can opener, bottle opener, which you can actually open with one hand. Um, this could also double as a box opener if you want, so if you've got a cardboard box and it's open, take out your pocket, there you go. Totally not threatening at all either, so that might be ideal for a work environment to say you're in an office, something like that. Especially since this is a UK legal package. This does not come with it. This is an eyeglass screwdriver from Victorinox. Um, these are about a pound fifty. If you know someone with glasses or you yourself have glasses, even if you don't like Victorinox, it'd be worth getting one of these just to keep in the the um, corkscrew. Now then, the fun side of this multi tool. This is what makes it. Um, more special if you like. Uh, this is what makes it a size above the CS4. We have the serrated blade. Now this is the only UK legal uh, carry Leatherman that I'm aware of that has a serrated blade. So we do have two knives on this, both of which are legal. So that's nice. Um, and the serrations are pretty well done. And the other tool on this is a file which is pretty similar to the file on the wave. Um, it's cut in two directions here so you've got a standard file and you've got a diamond file like on the wave and we do have an edge file as well. Um, that's really the only difference between this and the CS4 and if we open it up it's identical to the CS4 We've got the exact same just pair of pliers, which are okay. I mean, they're not the greatest. Um, I've actually realised recently that these are a very similar size to the skeletal. I might do a comparison for that sometime soon. And obviously in here, um, we have our three flat-bladed screwdrivers. So we've got a small, medium and large. I find that because you have to use your nail in this sort of fashion to open it, I usually get cut right there on the knuckle, right around there with this multi tool. It's, it's quite painful actually. And uh, our final tool on this multi tool, I quite like this, um, this Phillips driver. And I wouldn't really count this as a tool and I've always got to use something else to open this. But Torinox has saved the day because Leatherman, eh, well, never mind. You know, I need a, you need a, but Torinox has saved a Leatherman, hmm. There. So you've got a small lanyard ring for a piece of cord or a key ring or something. So it's a great little package. The only thing is, I wish it would have 
a ruler, but other than that, this is pretty much EDC perfection. Now, I have been EDCing this a little bit in the pouch, but to be honest, I'm kind of scared to use it with it being discontinued and an 80 pound model. It's practically, for what it's worth, the same tool set as the Wave. The only thing being, it doesn't have the eyeglass screwdriver and it, I mean, of course, you can add one on, and it doesn't have the bit driver. Other than that, the tool set is very similar, and obviously, the Wave doesn't have a corkscrew. Now, I'm just going to bring in the CS4 to show you, it's basically just what I said, it's, it's very similar. Only difference being, um, it doesn't have the serrated, the serrated blade and the, um, the file. So I think, for me personally, I only really need one other juice, I'll probably get the one um, one of the smaller ones, the, the thinnest one that they have, and that'll probably be me in terms of um, juices um, as a user. I think there is only technically one size up, and that is the XE6 Pro, I think, and it has a sort of a hook knife on it. It's a very small knife, but I think that's I think that's more of a rare um, multi tool. I've never actually really seen an example uh, myself, so that's all there is really. So I hope you found that interesting and enjoyable um, and if you're after an, an XC6 uh, I sure hope you find one. I mean it's probably one of the better multi-tools for UK legal carry of course. There's not really that many ways you can get in trouble carrying this uh, unless you've been a complete idiot threatening someone or you're using it on a train or somewhere you really shouldn't be using it. You know don't take it to school or anything silly like that. Uh, apart from that, other than its size, it's got a very similar capability uh, to the Leatherman Wave, so that's nice, and it's in a package that's the size of a Victorinox Swiss Champ. In fact, speaking of the Swiss Champ, let's just do a small comparison for size. Swiss Champ actually has more features and more implements, but I would say that over, overall the juice is uh, more useful. And uh, just for kicks, let's just bring in the Manly Wasp as well well there you are that's the leatherman juice xc6 let me know your thoughts in the comments thanks for watching